This is a small demo of the new rich text editor in Frog. As you can see, we have synchronous editing. Uh, we have author colors so that we can right away see who is editing what. And this does not change if we uh, change the, the formatting, for example. We turn this into a list. We can have the quotes and so on. Um, now, in Frog, we have this concept of learning items, which is rich pieces of content and that can either come from uh, outside sources or be created by the students. And I'm going to show you how we can insert learning items into the editor. Um, first of all, we can directly create some new uh, content here. So we can go here and say that we want to insert, for example, a spreadsheet and uh, we can edit the spreadsheet and we see that this learning item also supports collaborative editing uh, we can also choose whether we want to show the learning item in full view or in uh, minimized view. So we can insert um, uh, also, for example, an idea, which is defined as having a title and a content. Again, I can save this. I can open it for editing. If I open it both places, it supports multiple editors and I can choose whether I want to um, how I want to display this I can uh, delete it and I can undo the deletion I can move these things up here so uh, I can also um, insert items from the web so I will go to the next setup here where one student has one interface which is the brainstorm which allows you to vote up or down different items and the content is actually a hypothesis annotation is about deep learning so if I find here an annotation that I find is uh, interesting I can just drag it over and uh, we have a nicely formatted um, hypothesis annotation that is of course shared with the other student now the other student which now is looking at these two hypothesis annotations you see also the annotations are um, uh, highlighted in green to, to determine uh, which student added this content uh, this student has a different interface this is the gallery uh, and uh, the learning items here are uh, tweets about learning so if I think, um, for example, this is interesting, I can drag it in. Uh, let's see where my, uh, my, my cursor was in the top. So let me select that and copy it down here. There we go. And, let me, and here you see that it's highlighted in uh, a different color to determine who is a student to insert this. I'm going to just grab this one as well and insert it. Uh, and of course now you see that this is coordinated across um, the different um, editors. I can go in and delete this. And for the teacher, they have a dashboard where they can look at this item. So this is how it looks right now, but we can actually replay the entire history of this item, including text being added, formatting, the learning items being added, changing formatting, um, moving around, and so on. So we have a complete history of this document. So uh, that is it.